Welcome everybody to another tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to do a bridge within your MetaMask. Super easy and super helpful, especially if you're needing to go from one chain to another chain, one network to a different network. In this example today, we're going to be going from Polygon over to BNB Smart Chain BEP20. So what you're going to do is you're going to go inside your MetaMask and you're going to hit the bridge button, which is right to the right of the swap button. So when you click bridge, it's going to open up this screen for you. And today we're going from, like I said, Polygon and we're using the USDT token here. So you can just type it in or you can scroll down. So I'm gonna type in USDT, there it is. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna take note in my account, I have 144.03. So I'm just gonna put that amount because I'm gonna bridge it all today. And then what I wanna receive is, you can select whatever you want, but today we're gonna do the BNB chain and I wanna receive USDT. Same token, just on a different network. So I type in USDT and I select it right there. Now we're going to give it a second or two here to let it search for a bridging provider. And there we go. Seller bridge it shows. You can also choose if you're going to be doing some activity on your BNB chain to add gas. You just toggle that on. You might need to play with your amount up here if it doesn't find a bridge for you. So just know that there's that function there, or you can use the swap function once you're over on the BNB smart chain network to swap some USDT for BNB if you need it. So I've got the amount here. I'm ready to go. Everything is correct. I'm going to go ahead and click connect my wallet. And I've got my correct wallet selected there that I want to bridge it to. And I click next. And then I click on connect so it connects. And once it finds that bridge again here for me, I'm going to be able to approve the token bridge. And now you see it changed the bridge uh, provider, which is now Stargate, which is fine. Best price that gives you. I'm going to go ahead and approve the token. And it's going to pop up the little MetaMask box again. And I'm going to approve. It's going to be two cents in Matic to use for the gas fees. As you see, the transaction has been submitted and now I'm just waiting for the approval of the token through the chain. And once that happens here, transaction confirmed. Now just a little tidbit while you wait, you can click this little icon up here in the middle and it'll show you the bridging history. Nothing has popped yet because nothing has populated in the system. We got the bridge confirmed and let's just check our chain here, smart chain. Let's go to tokens. It just has not bridged yet. So I'm gonna switch back to Polygon here and I'm gonna go ahead and confirm this again, just cause I don't think it went through. Uh, estimated fee, four cents in Matic. Let's go ahead and confirm that again. <clears throat> Sometimes it switches the bridge on you just because it finds a better price during your transaction. So we're going to hang on just a second here while it's confirming. Okay, now you see in the bottom right, bridging to the BNB chain. That's what we wanted to see. So we know that it is in progress. So once that is complete, it depends on the traffic on the network how long it will take to actually bridge over to your other chain. Now you can check on this little icon here where it'll show you your um, progress bar here. So it is in progress. Transaction is confirmed, it just said. As you see that pop up, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my MetaMask. You see it has left, USDT has left the Polygon chain in my wallet here. And so I am going to go over and switch the chain to smart chain. So this is the BNB smart chain. And as soon as that shows up, it'll pop in here. If it doesn't pop in here, make sure you've added the token that you have bridged over. In this case, it's USDT on the BNB smart chain. I have done that already. So it's probably still in progress as it says in my progress bar here. 
I'll just wait a few minutes for this. All right, now you can check your progress bar here like I showed you from the icon, or you can also go back to your MetaMask and check your BNB Smart Chain. And here it is. You see that the USDT has popped in right here. That's all there is to it. Very simply done. And hope you guys learned something today. And we'll see you on the next tutorial. Thank you so much.